Life for the Green family in Hutchinson goes on, but things have changed. You know, the most frustrating part, I think, is um, I'm supposed to be the provider for the family. Andy Green was bitten by a tick three years ago and soon developed flu-like symptoms. He was eventually diagnosed with Lyme disease. It's traditionally rare in Kansas, as this map from the CDC indicates. For that reason, he says the Kansas medical community is playing catch-up. It does exist here. Um, you know, we have ticks here, and it's a tick-borne illness. Green and other Kansans with Lyme disease say that because the CDC doesn't recognize the disease as a chronic illness, insurance often doesn't cover all the treatment they need. It's supposed to be an easy disease to cure, and uh, so they give two weeks worth of antibiotics and we're supposed to be better. But instead, Green says long-term effects like fatigue, joint pain, and brain fog led him to seek treatment from a specialist in Missouri. These are all the meds I take and uh, all the other supplements. Some members of Congress are pushing for a national strategy to address concerns about Lyme disease, an illness first discovered in 1975. Lawmakers say there's a need for better diagnoses, prevention, and treatment. Meanwhile, Green has started a support group for sufferers in the Hutchinson area. Similar groups have popped up across the state, allowing people to share their frustrations with others who understand. You know, going on disability, that was one of the biggest kickers for me because now I can't provide for my family. In Hutchinson, Jim Grayway, KWCH 12 Eyewitness News.